I'm risking my life. Those whiskers on his chin are sharper than a porcupine's quill. He could give me a pash rash from there. Good day, mates. I'm here on location in this remote region of the Sonoran Desert here in southern Arizona to study the nesting habits of this amazing creature, the North American Adventurer. One more, just because. Because I like this drill bit, that's why. Countersinking, beautiful thing. You gotta buy DeWalt. When you buy a drill bit like that, DeWalt is good. You buy one from China, not good. You'll just be drilling away for an hour. Much better. What makes this creature so unusual is that it's actually building a nest on wheels for traveling adventure. It's brilliant. It's right dangerous for me to be inside this wild animal's nest without a protective cage around me. I'm actually pretty happy with that. This is my pocket hole jig that I made. And I made it, it was one of the ones that has the hand clamp like this, but I wasn't satisfied with that. So here, zoom in over here. Like, I made a pneumatic, so I don't have to mess around with it. It makes oh, doing it. a fancy foot pedal, though. Yes. It makes doing normal size pieces of wood a lot easier. This is a little abnormally huge, but. I need your help. I need you to hold that two by four up over there, up at the top edge. great American adventurer tends to be a bossy creature. He's already ordering me around and I'm just here filming his freaking nesting. Here it is. That part of the bed frame is now part of the bus. Pretty exciting to me. I know, huh? This is the first piece of furniture in our whole bus. Okay, so I gotta build the board that goes over here. And then and then the one that goes right in the middle there. This is not the kind of bed you can jump on. All right. Not yet. No jumping on the bed. No more monkeys jumping on the bed. 83 and 7 eighths inches. That is fine. That's my final. That's my final answer. 83. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Good thing we fixed that. Have a nice trip. <laughs> See you next fall. Right here. Uh, 
Um, where do you want me to push it? Push right on top of that. Like one. that way? Ah! <laughs> I'm just doing the splits and nothing's happening. Okay. Yep, you did. Oh, I got mud on it. Sorry. I got mud in the bed. Now I'm grounded. Okay, I gotta put a face board on that. What'd you call them? Rails? Side rails? Yeah. On that. And then, and then the centerpiece. And then I cut a thousand slats. Maybe two thousand. You want light to work by? I know, I know, I'm sorry. Picky, picky, picky. Will you grab me a few more of those longer screws? Did you get it right this time? Uh, I did. <laughs> This is what really goes on behind the scenes. She's a slave driver. Help me! Knee pads. Right? That would be so pretty on it you. It would be pretty. You would just be jealous. I look so good in your knee pads, though. Hey, time out. Huh. When was I supposed to remind you to put that piece of wood on that whole thing there? Was I supposed to remind you to do that before you did all this? Yes. I failed. You failed. It's okay, it'll work out fine. Isn't there going to be a half inch difference now? Um, no, it worked out, it still works out. I don't know why, because we made a mistake someplace else. <laughs> but in the end, it's a wash, so no, it doesn't. Oh, because I put it on the outside, so it's okay. So we got 58 and a half, 25, 29, 29 and a quarter. Not very good at counting. Alright. For the sake of the ease of cutting all the slats, it would make sense that these things are exactly the same distance apart. Twenty and three eighths. Not twenty eight and three eighths. <laughs> to give that centerpiece, since it'll bear the brunt of both of our weight at the same time, a little more oomph. So, I put a pocket hole in each one of these two. anything supporting the bed so because oh, we don't have a box right? yeah it'll bow
stack them up everywhere and be cool. Now the bed can breathe and uh, will be fully supported. The mattress won't ever move. It's awesome. It's very awesome. Like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door side so stuff doesn't fall down and we're done. I know it doesn't make sense right now but this is going to be covered up when the wall goes all the way up to the ceiling here that's going to be covered and you won't see it anymore. This is just to keep anything from falling down through the little edge down there. That's right. be sharp. <laughs> so before I can finish doing the whole bed frame, um, I have to, there's some plumbing I have to finish where we do the what fills up our water tank. And so I just, this has been hanging over my head and we got to get it done. So that's what we're going to do right now. This is our, our gravity fill tank fill thing here. I used this thing so that I could uh, soften the stuff up. It was out in a cold car all night, so I used this. You could probably use a hair dryer, but I had this thing, so I heated up the tubing a little bit to make it more pliable, and then I was able to get that on easier. This stuff is so hard to cut. That's good to know. But this super nice Christmas present I got does the trick, it's so sharp. Gotta keep my fingers out, it's just it's hot, hot. Drowning all the edges of the tubing. All those sharp cuts just immediately round off. Oh, nice. That 
goes to there. This one flexes just a little bit, but these will flex enough for me to get it on. Hence why, why this is short, because I couldn't flex it that far. Mm -mm. Oh. Just slipped off and smacked me one. <laughs> There we go. <sighs> Let's see. That would be more better. More better? Mm hmm. It seems that this went on really easily, so I can pull it off there. So this has got to go like that. Like I said, this will never be under pressure, so we never have to worry about it exploding off of here because it's, you know, too much pressure. But we still have to use hose clamps on it? Yeah, that's the wise thing to do. This right here comes in from the outside through this hole and allows you to hook up your city water right to this and then pressurize the whole system and then you can run off of a hookup. However, what held this in place right here was really cheap plastic. And while this whole system here is really elegant and I really like it, some of the pieces that you're gonna need to do this are made of cheap plastic. And, and uh, so we had to come up with a solution and, and we're just, ours broke almost immediately. So we're gonna put this back from the other side, put this on, and this will keep it from sliding out. And that's all I need to do. Everything else is gonna be hooked up down here very shortly as we add the PEX to finish this system off. So this is the outside of our thing, and you probably saw the video where we installed this little thing. And you just unlock it, and here's our little water system. So I put our sleeve back on, and just push it right in that hole right there, and that's it. Got it? Yep. All right. For that problem we ran into. Let's see here. Like that. And we gotta get this on here, which has no taper. So the best way to handle this straight up is gonna be lots of um, Teflon tape, extra on this thing. I was counseled by many people on the direction of my wrap. My wrap. And so today, this is for all of you guys. <laughs> <clears throat> These things are cool. Very cool. Okay. I thought this was over, but it's not over. If you remember correctly from our last episode, oh, don't use the ones that are already cut. Okay, moving on. They make cool electric ones of this, by the way. If you feel like spending like $800, but man, it would be, if you were doing a big house, whew, so worth it. Okay, so the key to this is speed, man. You gotta get this off, get it on here all the way or else it doesn't work. So you just release off, on, and done. That's it.
I'm just sizing it. So we'll do that. We're putting a little box over this so that if this springs a leak or something, it's just not spraying on our bed. It'll fall down here, which will still be horrible, but it won't be as horrible as a 5,000 pound sponge. <laughs> my attempt at being organized. How am I doing? Fail! <laughs> Another failed attempt, baby. I keep trying. Hold your applause. <laughs> there it is. favorite saw ever. Oh my god. <laughs> I couldn't see where my next step was. So <laughs> it's like you're walking on a cattle guard. Yeah. Only in the dark. There it is. Very nice. Perfect. Freaking perfect. Gonna be a cool covering over this. Don't freak out. I'm looking out from my window. Sun's coming up like the day before. You're like a stone on my pillow. I don't make a sound when I shut the door oh, You don't have to wake up yet oh, We can spend all day in there I'll put the TV in the room Pew, 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 pew I think of all the education that I miss Pew, 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 pew but then my homework was never quite like this. But <laughs> got it bad, got it bad, got it bad. I got Van Halen in my head forever.